This is a question that requires no calculator, if you know what you're doing and what they're asking for. When they say solutions, right, they're asking what are some values of x, but whenever we have things equal to zero like this and we've got these factors, then we don't really need to move anything around. Everything's been moved around for us and each factor individually is equal to zero. So basically we have three parts to this thing. I'm gonna draw some lines to separate them. And because all those parts are multiplied, we are using the power of zero. It has some certain properties. We are using it to advantage, right? Because if any one of those three parts is equal to zero and we're multiplying everything, then throw a zero into any multiplication problem and the whole thing gets wiped out as a zero. So that's, that's what's being tested here. And that is just a fundamental piece of algebra, specifically when we start working into more advanced things like quadratics and, and, and bigger than that. So we have actually a cubic here, but that doesn't bother me. Right away, I know that my solutions are going to be x is negative five, x is positive four, and the often forgotten x is zero, right? So we see we have some traps because some of you are going to forget or just kind of ignore that the sign of the factor is the opposite of what the, the actual solution would be. And that's because we're, we're trying to make a zero, right? So four minus four is zero, not negative four minus four. Uh, negative five plus five is zero, all right? So that's, that's why those are there to, to mess with us. And we just tend to forget that when we have an X kind of multiplied without a plus or minus thing attached to it, it still counts. And so we would set three X, basically you're creating a mini equation where three X is equal to zero. If you divide by three, you're just gonna get X is zero and, and that's it. So it works the same as the others. It just looks a little different. And that's why people tend to forget that it's like part of this. But yeah, there you go. It's, it's pretty easy. You do not need a calculator. However, if you were for any reason unsure, throw this in the calculator and just, you're gonna see three lines. I'm pretty sure, I'm not even gonna bother to check, but I'm pretty sure you'll see three lines at zero, four, and negative five. And the only one that's listed as a choice is zero. So don't get this wrong.